Hi. In certain cases, you want to set the files generated by Collaboration Butler, uploaded via Collaboration Butler, generated by a PDF Butler into Collaboration Butler, and you want to set the content type. So these content types are metadata properties in SharePoint that you can set. So let's first check how you can get into these content types. So you have to go into the settings, then go for the site contents. So I'm going to open it in a new tab. In the site contents, you have here a setting for site settings. So I'll go to that one. And then you can have the content types, all the content types that are available for this site. Okay, so here I go into the content types. And as you can see, I already created a new content type. This uh, video is not a course on the SharePoint content types. So I assume that you all know how to create these. Every content type has a unique identifier. So if I open up the details of this content type, you will see this content type ID. And this is important because we need this content type ID into, uh, into our collaboration butler to know to, uh, how to set the content type. Okay. So we have created our own content type. Now, next up is we have to tell the document library that it can actually use this content type. For that, I have gone uh, to the library settings. And in the library settings, I can say here that I want to add or remove content types from my, um, from my um, SharePoint document library. So um, all the content types I need are already added here. So that those are right here. And I want to set my every file that I upload, I want to set to the newest content type that I have here. And that's the uh, collaboration butter test content type. Okay, so this means we need again logic to define which content type we actually want to use. Because maybe if you're uploading a file, you want to use content type A or documents. If you're uploading a picture, you want to use content type picture. So you want to define uh, the, the content type that you're actually uploading. To do that, we're going to write logic. And logic, we're going to write via a flow. In this flow, you have actually uh, a couple of uh, variables required. So input variables, the doc config ID that you are working on. So then you know which uh, doc config you are actually uh, processing. Then uh, if you are processing a doc config, of course, because if you're just uh, drag and dropping files onto the uh, collaboration butter component, this one will be empty. And then the record ID is also an input variable, which actually is the record that you are working on. Uh, and then there is an output variable, content type ID, um, and it's available for output. The, uh, the names of the variables will be available in the Academy and on the uh, YouTube channel. So this is an output variable, and this is actually where you have to set the content ID. So imagine your flow has uh, lots of logic, and in that logic, you of course want to set your content ID. So I have an assignment here, and in this assignment, I set the value of that content ID to the identifier of that content uh, type that we saw earlier. So uh, that was right here. That was the ID of my content type. If I go back here, you will see that even the out of the box content types have an ID, uh, like for instance, a document, they have a shorter ID, then you have to provide this one. Okay, so now we have a flow that uh, define that sets our content ID. This one doesn't have lots of logic, but you can imagine that you can do all the stuff that you normally would do in a flow. And we set an output type, uh, an output variable, and this output variable will be used to update the uh, the document. Okay, let's test this. So I have here, uh, oh, of course, yeah. Sorry, now you have to set the uh, um, the. Uh, API name for the content type flow to use. So that's you set right here. And if this uh, if this flow is set, then you can just use that. Uh, that flow will actually be run uh, when you upload a document via PDF Butler or via uh, drag and drop on the component. Let's take a look. So I have, I will generate a document here. 
And when this document is generated, it will actually now run the flow for, um, uh, for getting the uh, content type. And then I expect that when I upload this content, uh, this uh, document, that the content type will be set. So I have my document already here. And if I take a look at the, uh, the properties, uh, the details, I see that indeed the correct content type is set because by default, the content type would be document. And now thanks to the uh, flow, the content type is updated to uh, the, con the specific content type that I want.